Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Giselle Adams. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, April 2nd, 2024. Are you kidding me? I just got these shoes. What are you doing stepping on them? Are you crazy? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't see your foot. I just tripped. I'm so, so sorry. No, come back to me when you don't step on my shoes. Calm down. You guys are best friends. The next morning. Hadassah, you should not be at that captain like that. It was an honest mistake. Yeah, sure, totally. If she was really sorry, she would get me new shoes. That's just being a brat. It's better if you just apologize to her. We all make mistakes sometimes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Later that same evening. Maybe I was a little too harsh on her. I'll talk to her tomorrow. The next day. Hey, Samara, I'm so sorry for yelling at you. It's okay. Do you think we can be friends again? Sure. That was awesome. Now let's go to Alaya for Today in History. Thank you, Giselle. Hey there, Patriots. Today in history on April 2nd, 1968, Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey had its world premiere in Washington, D.C. It became a classic and set a milestone for other sci-fi films. The reason Kubrick wanted to make this film was because he wanted to make a film about a man's relationship with the universe. An interesting fact is that this film was actually supposed to be pulled from theaters because of financial problems, but the owner convinced them to keep it in theaters. I've got movie night plans when I go home. Now let's check in with Daniela for today's lunch. Thank you, Olaya. Today's lunch is corn dog, Italian sandwich, seasoned Italian veggies, red bell pepper, garden side salad, ranch dressing, sliced pears, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is whole grain donut rings, lucky charms, string cheese, fresh banana, and 100% grape juice. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch menu can change at any time, and do let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, and let's get back to Giselle. Thank you, Daniela. That sounds delish. Do not fear, for the book fair is here. It's not always easy for dinosaurs to learn something new. At first, they might slam their tails, stomp all four feet, or even roar. But in the best-selling How Do Dinosaurs series, dinosaurs can learn to do just about anything. Take a look at what books interest you and check the schedule to see when your class is going. Don't books bring you joy? Well, they do to me. Today is World Autism Awareness Day. For all the Fridays of this month, we will be doing some activities for autism awareness. So today, we will be wearing all blue. Be a star and partake in this act. This Friday, we will celebrate how our minds work by putting on a hat. Make sure it's unique. Tomorrow, 5th and 6th, we'll have the chance to go to the Patriot Store. The store opens from 7.15 to 7.55 a.m. Make sure to come on time. Patriots, keep your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times, and there is no chewing gum in school. Please put it out before entering the building. Yearbooks are out. They are $45, so come on down to take a copy of you and your peers. Just visit myschoolbucks.com for yours. 3rd through 8th, if you haven't signed up for Name That Tune, then now is your last chance. Just go to room 200. Today, 6th and 7th graders will be taking their fast writing test, and tomorrow, 4th graders will be taking their fast writing. I hope you all studied. Now let's go to Camilo for today's weather. Thank you, Giselle. What's up, Patriots? Today's weather is 85 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. It's going to be pretty hot. In other weather news, there are some epic space sites coming up this month. Not all of these can be viewed perfectly in Florida. So, starting on April 8th, there is an eclipse and also the first super new moon. On April 21st, catch the spectacular mother of Dragon's Comet. The Lyrid meteor shower will also show on April 21st, when the moon sets until the sunrise. Finally, the pink moon will be showing on April 23rd and lasting for three days. I can't wait to see these spectacular sights. Now let's wish our patriots happy birthday with Hadassah. Thank you, Camilo. Today's birthday boys and girls are... 
Ethan Rodriguez, Zayden Velasquez, Khalil Harris, and Daniel Lewis. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Giselle. Thank you, Harasa. Patriots, here are your Pat's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Eugene, Miss Valdez, Miss Sheriff, Miss Cavalita, Miss Arnold, Miss E. Raiola, Miss Nelson, and Miss Soto for getting the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was what is the smallest planet in the solar system? The correct answer was Mercury. Now for today's Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge! A cowboy rode into town on Friday. He stayed for three nights, and he rode out on Friday. How is this possible? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RBTV would like to wish you all a tremendous Tuesday. Have a great day!